Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip. Recently, I talked to you about a vocal cord closure and in that video, I was giving you more the theory that goes around it and today I actually wanted to give you some practical tips on how you can practice better vocal cord closure. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned. about how important it is to have very good vocal cord closure, especially when you sing high notes that are also belted and very, very loud or present, in order to not damage your vocal cords. Because when there's a lot of breath in this, there's a limit on how loud you can get without really hurting yourself. So um, the degree of vocal cord closure is very important. I also talked about how you actually can decide how much or how little vocal closure there is and that's also going to determine the sound. So if you want a really breathy sound on purpose, you're going to have very little vocal cord closure and so you're going to have a sound like this. You can do that even on the top, that would be falsetto. On the bottom too. So there's very little vocal cord closure, which means the vocal cords don't actually come together very tightly. They're very loose and a lot of air can pass through, which also means that whenever you have very little vocal cord closure, that you will be out of air much sooner. So whenever you sing high pitches that are loud, that are belted, that you want to stand out. A lot of people always think that you need more air for those, but actually it's the other way around. Since the vocal cords close much more tightly, there's a much smaller opening that the air can pass through and thus you actually need less air. In fact, the higher you sing and the louder, the more you're gonna feel like you're almost holding your breath because there's so little air passing through. And that's one very important characteristic of correct belting is that there's not too much air flowing through because otherwise there's way too much friction. So enough with the talking, let's do some practical exercises. In the first exercise, we're gonna sing the bottom note very softly in a not very closed vocal cord uh, status. And then whenever you go to the top note, you're gonna tighten those vocal cords and also sing louder. And then go back to the first, to the last note, which is the same one as the last one, like so. So kind of slide up and slide down. Try to do that on a few pitches. It will be different for men and women, um, depending on how high or low your voice is. You What's also very important is that you have good support throughout the exercise. Don't let loose whenever you're singing that soft pitch and don't just tighten up just for the high pitch. Have a general tension in your body, but of course when you go up, to that very loud pitch, you will feel a tightening of your abdominal muscles and your body. So let's go on a little bit up high. You chords come together slowly and relax again. It's very important that you become aware of that feeling, how it feels when they are tight or when they're relaxed. You One more. 
four. This is also a very good exercise because usually whenever you sing a song, the pitches aren't just isolated. You don't just sing one high pitch or you just don't sing one low pitch. It's all connected together and a lot of times you will have to kind of go back and forth between having more closed or more relaxed vocal cords. So that's why the motion between the two states is kind of important. Now let's reverse this exercise. Let's do a strong bottom pitch and let's do a very breathy and soft top pitch. And let's reverse the vowels. Let's go Yaua. Ya Guys, it will usually be a little bit higher. You can usually go a little bit higher and still have a belted voice on the top. But since we are doing the top pitch very softly, we could go actually higher. I'm gonna just go ahead and go a little higher now. or low you can go um, you should go until you feel that it's getting too high it should there should be not a strain but a tension in your voice now let's do another exercise now let's just take two pitches that are neighboring and the bottom one very soft and the top one very loud So these were all exercises for practicing the transitions and again it's so important to start becoming aware of what's the degree of closure in your vocal cords. That way you can tell how much air am I using or how, how tight are they closing in order for the pitches to get louder because really the pitches only can get louder um, if you have very good vocal cord closure otherwise you will definitely feel tired very quickly or do damage to your vocal cords and we don't want that. Now with the next exercise I want to prove to you that you actually have much better vocal cord closure than I can't say that word that you actually have better vocal cord closure than you think you may have even if you think you sound breathy and also that you actually can sing higher long notes than you may think you can. So now let's do this. Pretend someone is just pushing you to the edge. You're just about to lose it because you're just, somebody is absolutely making you crazy. And everybody's been there, I've been there. So you're right at the edge and there's two choices. Either you hit someone or something and I wouldn't recommend that because you either break something or you hurt yourself. So don't do it. Now the next choice would be to scream. And that's the better choice by far. Now, after being done with this exercise, you probably can yell at someone so much better and let all your frustration out. The thing is, you have to do it right in order not to hurt your voice. Now, let's do this. You have to have full body involvement. So what we're gonna do now is kinda like, 
Breathe in, take your fist, and even stomp your leg, and hold your fist and kind of just, you know, tighten up your body, especially your midsection, and just yell. The important thing now is find your own yelling pitch. It sounds funny, but everybody has their own pitch to where it's actually comfortable. Um, like when I yell, I go, bad, or you idiot, or something like that. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna use the word man as if you were just like, oh man, but we're gonna do it very loud and very long. Now, really important for this exercise is keeping in mind that you don't let a lot of air through. It's actually quite little. And you keep the pitch very straight. And don't think so much of a pitch, just think of that yelling as if somebody was just freezing it in time and it just continues and continues and continues. Let a li little air out and have full body tension. And don't just think about extremely loud, just think about lasting. So let me do this again. This is my yelling pitch. Yours might be different. Could have done it longer but um, <clears throat> this is just if you do this on a pitch that's fairly high because of course when you are so frustrated that you hardly can contain it you will you want to be heard and it's just a kind of an automatic reaction like whenever you yell at someone to go up have you ever tried to yell at someone just stay down you're such an idiot it just doesn't work man you're such an idiot oh I can't believe that you just automatically go high whenever you want to get louder to be heard. It just kind of cuts through. I guess it's kind of an unpleasant frequency for everybody to hear. That's why we do it, or just to be heard. But uh, anyway, it's actually, actually a lot of students ask me, so, but this sounds terrible in a fussing like that. Well, have you ever tried to imagine, to strip, strip the music away from some of your favorite songs that go really high in pitch and that are belted? Um, just take like Hello uh, by Adele. Just imagine the music away, all that, you know, all that's around her voice. It's absolutely, it, it is yelled, technically. But that's supposed to be yelled. You know, it's like, Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you. It's very, you know, it's, it's very intense. It's not like, hello from the other side. That's not what it is. It has to be yelled. So um, these exercises, I hope they helped you to figure out what it feels like to have vocal cord closure and just kind of practice that mechanism a little bit. If you like my video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and also uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Also, um, don't forget, I do upload another video next Tuesday, and from now on, on Tuesdays, I have a second video a week in which I will talk about a song and some technical aspects of that specific song. So, um, also, if you would like me to, you can give me some suggestions on which song to do next, so don't miss it. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channels um, because there are a lot more singing tip videos to come. And um, I wish you a wonderful day. And don't forget, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. And if you can make someone smile by singing a song today, that's wonderful. Bye.